What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Coach Bobby here. Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Hope you are enjoying um, the holidays. Hope you're enjoying your, your time off if you have any. Uh, this message, this video is going to be directed specifically at the youth, right? So if you're in middle school, if you're in high school, if you are even in college, guys, this message is, is directly for you is specifically for you. It is my gift for you and to you. Now, m most of you know, I've been, I've been coaching and mentoring and uh, guiding youth for all my life, for my whole life. When I was 10 years old, my mother would bring home children in the neighborhood who were five years old. When I was in high school, she would bring home, you know, neighborhood uh, kids who were in middle school. When I was in college, I'd come home from college and my mom and dad would have met a family with two young kids and I would be mentoring them. Um, so I've always had this, this gift, this assignment from God to, to uh, help guide, teach, mentor, mold, motivate, inspire young people. So uh, this holiday season in particular, I've gotten very, a lot of messages um, direct messages, text, um, phone calls from, from young people that I've either coached directly that have been in one of my classes that I substitute taught at, um, or have been neighborhood kids or, or children of friends even, or people who have just seen me on social media, uh, have messaged me, um, or texted me with a dilemma. And so I wanted to to reach out and kind of talk to you guys about about being young and give you guys some just some encouragement, some inspiration, some motivation um, to keep fighting, keep pushing, keep living and to understand that all that you're going through is normal. It's normal. So um, I want this to be kind of reflective. Uh, when you guys watch this video, I want you to ask questions uh, if you feel um, if you feel strong enough um, to comment or ask the question in the the thread, do so. If you want, if you don't feel comfortable, and you want to just send me a direct message with a question uh, or a comment, uh, by all means, do that. Um, but let me just say this, guys: if you are in middle school or or high school or even in college, you guys are living in the most challenging time for a young person to live in, right? First and foremost, you guys are under more pressure, more scrutiny, um, more obligations um, to, to live up to certain, certain standards that we had to live up to. I'm 51 years old, so we had to live up to standards too, but it wasn't so prevalent. It wasn't so obvious. Our parents couldn't track and see our grades every single second. Our friends uh, couldn't tell us everything they were doing. So we didn't know all the accolades that every single person in our lives was doing. There wasn't all this comparison that we had to go through. I mean, we, had, we had in school pressure to, to fit in, to wear certain clothes, to be a certain way. Uh, but that stopped at three o'clock. It didn't go on for the whole day and the whole weekend through social media. So you guys are confronted with an environment that we never had to deal with, that your parents didn't deal with, that your teachers didn't deal with, that your coaches didn't deal with. So I, for one, want to acknowledge that. I've told my, my children, and I talked about it in a post previously, that sometimes I just tell my kids, I see you. I tell my student athletes that I coach, I see you, right? I don't have to always be educating and and teaching and, and drilling and getting on them. Sometimes I just acknowledge how much they have to do. So I'm acknowledging to you that you have to do so much. And I applaud you for living in an environment that is challenging. Now, what are the things that you guys go through? Some things I've I've been been texted with or or messaged with 
are things like school pressure, are things like sports pressure. If you're playing a sport and you're not sure you like it anymore, or you're not sure you want to do it anymore, or you're, or you don't feel confident anymore, or relationships. If you're a young person and you're dating someone and it's not going well, or you guys just broke up and all that, that encompasses, you're going through that or your grades. Right, you have grades, and you're not sure how your parents will take it, or you, or you rebel, and you don't care, or you say you don't care about getting bad grades. So what? Doesn't matter. And you, and you go through school, and you don't, you don't care, or you act as if you don't care, or there's pressure in school to act a certain way, to be a certain way, to curse, to fight, to be tough, to drink, to have sex, all these things are things that, that people have messaged me about, young people have messaged me about. So I wanna to talk to you guys about some of those things and how to deal with it, how to deal with all these things that you're going through, the whirlwind of pressures that you're going through. Number one, I want you guys to acknowledge for yourselves that it's normal. It's normal to feel pressure. It's normal to feel depressed. It's normal to feel down. It's normal to feel afraid. It's normal to feel embarrassed, right? I'm, this is a screenshot or, or a screen I'm showing you guys. This is me, right? This right here, where's it at? This is me when I was at the lowest of lows in my life. I'm smiling in this picture, but I was as insecure as one could be. Now I say that because I evolved into all these other things in my life. High school football, I don't have the college picture in here, but I, play, I played college football too. I'm a dad, this is my son when he's a baby. Um, you know, I'm a speaker now, I work out, all these things, right? Some of these things, right, you see, you've, you know me as, you know me as Coach Bobby, you know me as the person who works out, you know me as the mentor, the, the football player, all these things, right? But what you don't know is that at some point in my life, I had almost zero confidence, right? Zero confidence. In fact, it wasn't until I was in high school that any girls liked me, right? Any girls that I liked, I should say. The first time a girl liked me that I liked was in high school, right? So my whole life, I, I felt ugly and different. And I was in many ways. I was the only black kid in many of my classes growing up. And I felt I stuttered and I was skinny and I, and I, and I, and I had dry skin. All these things made me feel different. So whatever your difference is, it's normal to feel sad about it. It's normal to feel embarrassed about things. Right. But what I did and what I encourage you guys to do is latch on to something that you love. For me, it was football. Maybe for you, it's art or another another sport or maybe it's it's academics or maybe it's it's going to school to be a lawyer or maybe it's drama or maybe it's an instrument or maybe it's working out. Right. Something that that you can you can attach yourself to that's going to pull you in a direction because your brain can only align with one thought at a time. So you can't be depressed or sad or embarrassed and think about greatness in football or greatness in academics or greatness in fitness. So allow yourself and I know you've had these thoughts where there are things that you enjoy, that you love, that you like, that you want to do. I want you to really begin to dive into those things, even if it is like only on the outside of your main stuff. But but dive into that so that when you have these thoughts that are inhibiting you, that are preventing you from getting out of bed or moving forward, when you focus and shift your thoughts to this thing, again, your brain can only focus on one thing. So it shifts and, and, and you begin to, to forget about the thing that has you feeling different or ugly or down or whatever it is, right? And then that begins to become, this is the thing that, that, that many kids deal with, right? Then that begins to come to become something that you can build what I call currency on, right? You see your world, your life, 
your whole life, and your parents don't get this, coaches don't get this, teachers don't get this, but your whole world is governed between 8.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m., your school day. And the the currency that you use, I call it currency, the, the, the factors that are valued in that environment are different than the ones that we value. The currency you use in high school or middle school or even college is a different currency than the real um, adult world uses. Where in the adult world, having a, having responsibility and wearing a suit and tie and, and, and abiding by the law, those things have currency and value in our, in our structure. In school, I understand that being cool, right? Being, being attractive, right? Being athletic, being, being an academic stalwart or, or expert or, or juggernaut. That's valued. So when you begin to shift your focus into something that you that you love, you begin to develop a currency that gives you value outside of the social constraints that many of you live by. Right? Because many of you, right, even if you play a sport, you're constrained by the social constructs that are in high school or middle school. Right? How good you look, who you're dating, does he like me, does she like me, am I cool, are my clothes the right kind of clothes, can I fight, am I tough, do I curse, are people afraid of me, all these things give you value and give you currency, and the more that world recognizes that to you as valuable, the more you identify with it, so when it's gone, or becomes threatened by something, you begin to get fearful, right? And as, and as boys, we manifest that or we project that as anger, but many times it's just fear or embarrassment or vulnerability, right? Girls do it sometimes too. They lash out, they become angry, but really they're hurt or embarrassed, right? So because your, your value, your currency in high school it's built upon this identity that you have based on how good you play a sport or how good you look or who you date or, or what grade you're getting. And sometimes, in, so, in many ways, sometimes the adults that you look at, look at around you, they begin to value these things too. And because they value it so much, and I'm guilty of it as a dad, because they value it so much, you begin to identify and, and hold too much value in that particular currency. Like my son plays football, right? But I try to make sure he knows that I love him as a as a son outside of football. But if I just focus on all his accolades as a football player, if that ever goes away, and one day it will, he may feel the way I felt when I was younger, that who am I without that? Who am I without football? I'm going through it now, guys, as I get older, right? My whole life, I've been work, walking around flexing and wearing tight shirts, but I'm 51 years old now. And sooner or later, I won't have that as a currency I can use. So I'm going through it, going through it too, where one day I won't be able to identify as buff coach Bobby. And then what? So when you guys feel like a part of you has been lost, when you're not good at a sport anymore, when that boy or that girl dumps you or or you're not tough anymore or that person threatens your 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 place on the mountain as the cool guy or the tough guy or the funny guy right when that's gone or gets threatened you feel lost and that's a real thing so i want you guys to be able to find something to dive into right? To give your energy to. Maybe it's working out. Maybe it's writing. Maybe it's uh, a sport you love. Maybe it's academics. Maybe it's being a great friend to your other friends, right? But something, right? And to do that, I hate to tell you guys, but to do that, you have to disallow social media to pull you back in. I'm not anti-social media. Obviously, this 
is on social media. But what I do is make sure that when I'm when I feel myself getting pulled into that direction, and again I do, I get pulled into that that valley of 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 depression or being or being upset or fearful or depressed or a- anxious. I make sure I focus and deviate back to writing or doing a video or working out or doing something that reminds me that I'm here to chase something that 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 belongs to only me because there are things guys that belong to only you and there are things on this work in this world on this earth that only you can do and and people say I believe I believe in you I believe I don't believe in you I know based on what I study and what I teach that there are things in this world that only you can do and there are moments in this world that the universe reminds you, this is a moment I need you to go through, right? In order to grow through, right? So everything I've gone through in my life, and I'm 51 years old, I've, I've gone through a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of no's in my life, breakups, getting fired from jobs, you know, uh, ending my football career, not knowing who I was, all these things I've gone through. Right. But when you come through it, you always realize that you had to grow through it and not just go through it. Right. So I'm not minimizing that you feel upset that that your world feels like it's crumbling. I get it because he doesn't like you or she broke up with you or I didn't make the team or I didn't I got a C on a test or whatever it is. I know I'm not minimizing that. But. But once you understand that you have control of the part of this world and this universe and your life, that is your assignment. That's up to you to do. Up to you to grow through. And when you understand that even the pain and the setbacks and the disappointments, even that is part of it. Then you begin to see it differently. Right? Every great movie you've ever seen has conflict. Every great story you've ever read has a fall in it, has a mishap in it, has a cry in it. So when you go through stuff, guys, I want you to, again, I want you to feel the pain. Right? In football, we had this rule, 24-hour rule, right? Win or loss, you have 24 hours to, to feel it. Feel sad, feel happy, whatever, then you move on. Then the next layer is you look at that that game objectively. You look at how you performed in that game objectively. And then you correct and move on. So in that relationship, is it a good relationship? Did you do something to make it go awry? If you did not, then you can see that objectively. I played the game to the best of my ability. We lost. I'm moving on. Or I could have done this better in the game, and I will do that moving forward, either either in this relationship or the next one. If you fail a test, you cry about it, or you celebrate it, then you objectively look at it. Did I study the way I should study? Did I deserve an A? Then you tweak it and you move forward. With your sport, the same thing. With your life, it's all the same. Right. So I want you guys to understand that those feelings you have are normal. But but look at it objectively. Real reorganize and reassign your energy to good things, to things that you love and care about, things you can control and then move forward, knowing that your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. So just focus on something until this part of of what you're thinking about and you're sad about, and you're anxious about, becomes white noise in the background. I know it's loud now, but it's loud in part because you won't turn this on. This radio is loud because you won't turn this one on. All I'm saying is turn this one on. Turn this radio on, the one that allows you to grow and move, and then eventually you'll turn this one down and control how much this talks to you. Control how much this hurts you. Control how much this gives you anxiety or depression. 
All right, guys. So that was 20 minutes, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but I want these to be a reflection for you guys, a time for you guys to be able to um, to hear me talk about stuff you're going through, to comment, to message me. And then eventually maybe we can do like live broadcast once a week where we can all talk um, and give you guys a sounding board to talk about the things that teenagers <laughs> and young people go through. All right, guys, Coach Bobby, uh, have an amazing holidays. Stay safe. Um, act right. Don't be a fool. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.